so in today's video we'll learn about tree view so what exactly a tree view looks like so this is what a tree view looks like so we will implement a tree view using the java swing toolkit so for that thing we will require a new java project so we can create a new java project we will be using netbeans uh, you can do it with any other IDE as well so here I am selecting a java and project and java application so henceforth whenever I will be uploading any video I will be putting the code on github so this is the repository that I will be updating as per the newer videos come in okay so I will name it as a mm, what do you call it learning project okay so for now we won't be needing any other libraries apart from the java swing toolkit so that comes along with this java thing so only thing I'll do is I'll create a java frame form here okay so I will name it tree form okay tree form you can directly start writing in this thing as well but like we are making things easier to understand so we will be creating forms of different components so here what I will do is I will create a tree form I will create an object of the tree form df is equals to new tree form okay so like this is a simple j frame so it has nothing to do with tree as yet but soon we will put in the tree inside it true okay so let's run this thing so you will see the form will shoot up yeah <coughs> so this is the form so you could name it here in this property uh, tree operations okay tree operations so now what we have to do here is first thing we have to take is we should have a tree here okay so tree component I will use a drag and drop approach here <coughs> sorry so in the swing controls you would find a J tree see here tree okay just take it up here okay see here so if you could see it already has a few elements here so if you run this thing you would see those elements available there but those are default elements given here okay so we won't be needing those as such uh, you could resize the this thing if you want a larger one for the demo purpose we could use this thing okay so like let's run it again yeah so what we need to do is we need to get rid of this existing data so here you would find a model property inside the properties pane here in NetBeans and what we'll do is we'll have to take care of this thing and we'll just select it all and backspace okay so now this is also not needed actually let's get rid of it okay okay fine not needed sure so what I will do is I will first create a default tree node okay so first I will create a default tree model default tree model I'll call it DTM okay I'll just create this declare this thing I'll not create a object as of now okay so after the init component what I will do is I will create a few nodes that are to be added okay so what we could do is like uh, we'll just create some hierarchy here so what I will do is uh, I will create a default mutable tree node uh, root node this will be the first node right so default table tree node and here I will give a name for this thing so I'll call it root okay so this is the root node okay 
and after this to form an hierarchy of this thing I'll just copy this thing and just rename this things okay so after that we'll have branch one branch two and branch three so I'll call it branch one branch two branch three branch one branch two and branch three so the idea being we'll add this nodes inside the root so what we'll do is we'll write here root dot add see here it will give us an option uh, I'll show you again okay when you click on this thing add see here it will give you a diff mutable tree node option so we can add this thing so we have created a branch one so branch one will be added let's add branch two okay so yeah we are doing a lot of copy paste but uh, yeah branch three okay so this two branches are added here okay so what we'll do is we'll create this root node as the default tree model okay so what I will do is DTM is equals to new default tree model and I will hook it up with this root node so the root node is essentially the default tree model okay it is linked to this thing so now here we had taken this J tree so we'll just rename this variable uh, J tree one which is called J tree okay I've just renamed this thing and simply we'll write here J tree dot set model and DTM okay. so what we have added is root branch one branch two so inside root we'll see branch one branch two branch three and let's just run this thing see here you can see that but here now if you want to add some things to the branches as well so what you would do is you would create another object of default mutable tree node okay default mutable tree node and branch child one okay so i'll name it branch child one branch child one okay and i will add this thing to the branch one okay not to the root but the branch one so here branch one dot add branch sorry branch child one i hope i'm not messing up with the name yeah that's right so see here so this is how we are able to create a hierarchy here okay so you could apply this thing to multiple things like you could have a folder selection you could have uh, organizational hierarchy selection for these things and stuff so on and so forth you could do a lot of things with this so now this is about creating this thing so how will you get to know about which branches are click or which things are click so that also needs to be handled so how we handle it we'll see now so basically we need to add a mouse click event to this thing to the tree we have to add a mouse click event so over to the mouse click event click here and in this thing what we need to do is we need to find a tree path okay so tree path that is another thing okay so tree path from the tree path we get which node elements are clicked so here j tree which is the name of this thing we are taking this element so j tree dot get path 
okay get path for location say this thing front so there are two variables here int i and i1 so those are the locations where this was clicked so here you could see the mouse event evt instance variable so evt dot get x okay and evt dot get y okay so it is a graphical tree okay so it takes this thing okay so i don't know why this is shown here okay tree path import was not there okay so once this is done what we do is we would check now if the tree path was not null if it's null then there's no point in showing the tree path okay and sometimes it does return null because if you click somewhere else or if at the same time you are uh, resizing the window or any kind of misfire it returns a null component as well so to avoid from that thing we use that thing so what you have to do is it's just uh, do a system dot out dot print line to see mm, click on so it will tell you what it clicked on so tp dot get last path component so it will tell you the last path which is the last node that it clicked so like branch 3 if you clicked or branch child you click so it will tell you that last path component on whatever you clicked okay so let's just run this thing and uh, uh, take this output window a slightly higher okay so let me just click over this thing click down branch one then we click down branch two okay so and so and so forth okay so i guess that's it so in the next videos we'll see how we can add to multiple things to this thing thank you